fun and learning. Hello, young learners. I have a very special puzzle to share with you today. <gasps> but look, all the puzzle pieces seem to be missing. Hmm, I have an idea. Why don't you join me on an adventure to discover where the missing puzzle pieces could have gone? Yeah! It'll be a lot of fun and learning. Let's go. Oh, look, we have a gumball machine. Let's twist the handle and see what color gum comes out. It's a red gumball. Oh, wow. I see the red fish from our puzzle. All right, let's do it again. I see the color green. We have a green gumball. And look, it's the green fish from our puzzle. I wonder what color our next gumball will be. It's the color yellow. Hello, darling yellow fish. I know you can't wait to get back to your puzzle. Time to see which gumball we get next. Oh wow, it's the color pink. It's a beautiful color, don't you think? Let's get this pink fish back to the puzzle with the other fish. I'm so curious to see what color will drop next. Oh, it's a blue gumball. Blue is my favorite color. Hi there, blue fish. I know you'll be happy to get back to the puzzle. Twist, twist, twist. What's next on the list? Wow, young learners, I see the color light green. It's a very happy color. Here is our light green fish. Let's put it back on the puzzle board. We have so many colorful gumballs left. I guess the next gumball might be mm, white. I was wrong. It's purple. Off to the puzzle you go. I see a very adventurous gumball coming down. This is an orange gumball. And here is our orange fish. I'm putting it on the puzzle right away. We're almost done with our fish puzzle pieces. Let's see what we get next.
It's the light blue gumball. Beautiful, just like the sky. Wow, guys, it looks like we only have one missing fish. Let's see if we can get it from the gumball machine. Oh look, it's an aqua blue gumball. So pretty. You're going back to the puzzle, buddy. Look, a trash truck. Oh no, it's going to dump out all its trash. This isn't trash. These are the numbers from our puzzle. What's our first number? The number one. Hmm, where is the number one? Ah, here it is. The number one. What is our next number? It's the number two. We have one, two, Fish. Let's find the number two. Ah, oh, ah, oh, I found you the number two. What number comes after the number two? Correct, the number three. We have one, two, three fish. Time to find our number three. Oh, uh, here it is. The number three. This is the number four. Let's count the fish. One, two, three, four. And yes, I see the number four. It's right here. The number four. Can you tell me what's next after the number four? Great job, young learners. It's the number five. And how many fish do we have? Count with me. One, two, three, four, five. Amazing. Now let's find the missing number five. Aha! The number five. Oh, look here. I see a bunch of clownfish on this spot. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, Six. We have six clownfish. Time to find our next number. The number six. Hmm. Ah, see it? The number six. Here you go. Do you know what this number is? Yes. It's the number seven. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven fish. And the number seven is where? Ah, I see it. The number seven. Looks like we are almost done with our numbers. Just a few left. 
Let's count the fish on this spot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight green fish. We need the number eight. Here it is. The number eight. Our next number is the number nine. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine fish. The number nine is right here. Wow, we are on our last number, which is the number 10. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten starfish. Time to find the number 10. The number 10. Do you know what this is? This is a minus sign. We use it to do subtraction. The minus sign is right here. This is the plus sign. We use it when we are adding two or more numbers. And this is our plus sign. Our next sign is the greater than sign. We use it to say one number is larger than another. And it looks like this. Our last sign is the equal sign. We use it to show that two numbers have the same value. Here it is. Oh look, we have sand. Uh, but wait, there's something hidden right there. Hmm, we need something to dig it out. But with what? This will do. Oh, wow, we have a blue egg. Sounds like there's something inside. Look, we have the star from our puzzle. The star is a five pointed shape. One, two, three, four, five. Let's put it on the puzzle. This is the heart-shaped piece. It kind of looks like a leaf. It is used to symbolize affection. Oh look, now I see something pink. Let's dig it out. Hmm, seems like this egg has something hidden inside of it too. Look at that. 
we have the circle puzzle piece. A circle is a round shape with no corners. Hmm, my little eye spice something green. Let's dig it out. I wonder what's inside. We have a trapezoid and a semicircle. A trapezoid is a four sided shape that has one pair of parallel sides. This is a semicircle. The semicircle is what happens when you cut a circle. Oh wow, do you see something purple sticky now? Let's find out what it is. It's a purple egg. It's not empty. It's time to open it up. Oh look, we have a rectangle. A rectangle is a four-sided shape that has two sets of parallel sides. Oh, just when I thought we were done, there's something else hidden right here in the sand. It is, let's see. A yellow egg. I think it has more puzzle pieces. Let's open it up. It has a triangle and a square. A triangle is a shape with three sides and three corners. A square is a shape with four equal sides. What's that noise? That's a vehicle transport truck. And look! It's carrying some of our puzzle pieces. Let's see what vehicles come off. Look at that. It's a cement truck. The cement truck carries cement to construction sites where it is used to build all sorts of things. The next vehicle I see is an aeroplane. An aeroplane flies high in the sky and takes people and goods all over the world. This is a fire truck. A fire truck carries firefighters and all their gear to fight fires. Let's put it on our puzzle. This blue and white car is a police car. The police drive this car to catch bad guys 
and help people. Do you know what this yellow vehicle is? That's right, it's a school bus. It's used to carry kids to and from school. This last vehicle is an ambulance. It is used for medical emergencies. Now off to the puzzle you go. We have almost completed our puzzle. <laughs> What's that smell? Oh no! We need a fire truck! Wow! The water from the fire truck created a rainbow! And look, they're the last pieces of our puzzle. Red. Orange. Yellow. Light green. Aqua blue. Light blue. Pink. and purple. Oh wow, young learners. You did an awesome job helping me find all the puzzle pieces. That sure was a fun and learning adventure. Let's see what we have here. Oh wow, I see letters everywhere and they look like animals. We have an alphabet zoo puzzle. Do you want to explore these letters with me? Yeah! All right, let's go. Hmm, let's see what we have here. It's a green A, and it says alligator. Did you know that alligators can run up to 35 miles an hour? And that their eyes can glow red at night? Ooh, creepy. So, we're looking for a green A in the shape of an alligator. Aha! Uh -huh. A is for alligator. This is the letter B. And it's the color yellow. It says B, like in bumblebee. Do you know that bees have five eyes and six legs? And that they are cousins to ants. That's cool, isn't it? So, we have to find a cute little bee-shaped bee. Hmm, ah, here it is. B is for bee. I see an orange letter C, and it says cheetah. What is a cheetah, you ask? Well, let me tell you. A cheetah is a big cat, and it is the fastest land animal. It can run up to 65 miles an hour. But they don't roar like lions. Instead, they meow and purr like a house cat. Where is our letter that looks like a cheetah? Hmm. 
Ah, I see it. C is for cheetah. I see a red letter D and it says deer. Deer are large four-legged mammals that love to eat grass and leaves. They can also grow antlers. Hmm, let's find our deer. Ah, I see the red letter D and it has antlers. D is for deer. The next letter is E. This letter is teal and it says elephant. Did you know elephants are the largest animals on land? They have big ears and long trunks. So we are looking for a teal letter E. Hmm, and it's shaped like an elephant. Ah, oh, here it is. Look. E is for elephant. What a beautiful pink our letter F is. And our next animal is a flamingo. Do you know what a flamingo is? It's a tall pink bird that has long legs. It gets its pink color from the plants and animals it eats. Do you see a pink F in the shape of a flamingo? Hmm, yes, here it is. F is for flamingo. Hmm, our next letter is a yellow G. It says giraffe. Giraffes have short bodies, but long necks and legs, which they use to eat leaves from the tops of trees. So, we're looking for a yellow G. Hmm, here, I found it. G is for giraffe. Here is our next letter. It's a purple H, and it says hippo. I'm sure you can't wait to hear about the hippo, so here we go. It is a large animal that can weigh up to 4,000 pounds. It spends most of its time in the water and likes to eat plants. Wow, what a huge guy. Where are you, purple hippo? Ah, look. Here it is. H is for hippo. What letter is this? It's a green letter I. And it says iguana. An iguana is a large lizard with long tail and strong legs. They can grow to be more than six feet long. Wow, that's a big lizard. Do you see our green eye? Oh yes, that's it. Eye is for iguana. I see the letter J. And inside it I read Jaguar. The Jaguar is the third largest cat in the world and the biggest that lives in the Americas. This cat actually loves to swim. So I'm looking for the letter J. Hmm. Ah, here it is. J is for Jaguar. In the dark pink spot goes the letter K. Hmm, what's written here? Kangaroo. Kangaroos are mammals that live mostly in Australia. They get around by hopping on their big back feet. And mother kangaroos carry their babies in a front pouch. Do you see a dark pink K anywhere? Hmm, yes, it's this one. K 
is for kangaroo. We have another orange letter. Hmm, the letter is L. It says lion. Lions are very large cats. Its roar can be heard for up to five miles away. They have sharp claws and teeth, which give them the nickname King of the Jungle. Hmm, where are you, letter L? Ah, oh, I found you. L is for Lion. In this blue space goes the letter M, and it says Monkey. Monkeys are playful, curious, and very smart. They are known for running and leaping through trees. Let's find our blue monkey-shaped elm. Ah, here you are. Elm is for monkey. What a pretty teal-colored inn. Narwhal. I wonder if you know what a narwhal is, because I can help. It's a small whale with a tusk or horn. They have the nickname Unicorn of the Sea. Let's find the Teal Inn. Here it is. Inn is for narwhal. Our next letter is an orange O. In the O, it says owl. An owl is a bird with a big head, soft feathers, and likes to hunt at night. Let's try to find our orange owl. Right here. O is for owl. In this black spot goes the letter P. It says penguin. Have you seen a penguin? Maybe at the zoo? Well, it's a flightless aquatic bird. That means it does not fly, but it uses its wings and feet to swim. Because of this, they eat lots of fish. So we need to find our black letter P. Hmm. There it is. P is for penguin. The next spot on our puzzle is red and is in the shape of the letter Q. Look here, it says quail. Quails are a small to medium sized bird with pointed wings. They like to eat insects grains, and berries. Let's find the red Q. Oh, I have it here. Q is for quail. This letter is a purple R, and it says raccoon. That sounds like balloon, but it's an animal, not a balloon. It has grayish brown fur, a ringed tail, and a mask of dark fur on its face. They are excellent climbers and come out at night. There is only one purple letter left. Right here. R is for raccoon. Here is the green letter S. Oh, do you hear that? It sounds like hissing. Yes, it says snake. A snake is a reptile that has a long, narrow body with overlapping scales. One strange thing about snakes are that they smell with their tongue. I see a green S. How about you? That's right. S is for snake. 
Let's see what our next letter is. Hmm, an orange T. It says tiger in the T. What is a tiger? It's the largest cat in the world. Some weigh more than 600 pounds. They are fierce hunters and live in forests, grasslands, and swamps. Tigers are known to have black stripes on their fur. Let's look for the orange T. Aha! T is for tiger. Our next letter is a dark pink U. What does it say? Unicorn? That's one of my favorite animals. It's a mystical creature that is supposed to have magical powers. Usually, it is pictured as a white horse with a horn coming out of its head. All right, that means I'm looking for a dark pink U with a unicorn horn. I found it. U is for unicorn. This spot is for the letter V. Look here, it says vulture. A vulture is a large bird with a wingspan up to six feet. They eat dead animals and sometimes garbage. Ooh, that's gross. Oh, here is our letter V. V is for vulture. The letter W goes here in this blue spot. I see the word whale. Whales are the largest animals in the world. They live in the ocean. They may look like fish, but they're actually mammals. They can hold their breath for a very long time, but they do breathe air. So they must come to the surface. Where is our blue W? Aha! Here it is. W is for whale. Our next letter goes here in this teal spot. It's the letter X. And it says X-ray fish. No, that's not a joke. There is a real fish called an X-ray fish. It's a small fish whose outer skin is see-through. So you can see its internal structure. Where is the teal X? Oh, I see it. X is for X-ray fish. Wow, we're almost done with our animal letters. This red Y is our next letter. I see that it says yak. A yak is a mammal with a long shaggy brown coat. They have horns, hooves, and a horse-like tail. I can't miss this. Here is our red Y. Y is for yak. We have reached the last letter of the alphabet. The letter Z. The Z says zebra. The zebra is closely related to a horse. They are most famous for their black and white striped coat. Oh, and zebra sleep standing up. I wish I could do that sometimes. And here is the letter Z. Z is for zebra. Wow, young learners, we completed the alphabet zoo puzzle. Great job. Today, we're going to be looking at numbers using this colorful puzzle with the numbers zero to nine. Are you ready to join me on my numbers field trip? Come on. Let's go. Hey, what's Farmer John doing? Is he stealing our numbers? He sure is. Looks like we are going to have to find them. Okay. I'll need your help for that. 
Are you ready? Yeah! Our first number is zero. Let's see what Farmer John did with our zero. Let's spell zero. Z E R O. Looks like Farmer John didn't have any use for the number zero because zero is the numerical number for none. Let's put it back on the puzzle board. After zero comes the number one. Let's spell it. O N E. Our number one has corn on it. Corn is a tall grass that produces cereal grains. It was first grown by the natives of Mexico 9,000 years ago. Maybe this corn is a clue for a missing number one. Let's see. Oh, look. I found some corn. Let's remove the husk or other protective layer and see what's inside. Oh, wow. That looks yellow and yummy. Hey, this is where Farmer John hit the number one. What number is next? It's the number two. It's spelled T-W-O. Our number two has one two carrots on it. Carrots aren't just for rabbits. They are a long orange root vegetable we can eat raw or cooked. Let's see if Farmer John has any carrots. Hmm, no, that's not a carrot. It's not orange. How about this one? Yes, that's it. You know what? Let's cut this up for a healthy snack. What is this? It's our missing two. Time to put it on the puzzle. And what number comes after two? Yes, it's the number three. We spell three, T, H, R, E, E. Great job. This three has apples on it. One, two, three apples. I love apples. They are one of my favorite fruits. Do you know why? Because they are a sweet, delicious, and very healthy snack. Now let's find an apple. Hmm, is it this one? No, that's not correct. How about this one? Yeah, that's it. Hmm, you know what? I'll cut it in half so we can share. Oh, wow. 
It's our number three. I'll take it back to the puzzle now. After three comes the number four. F O U R. That's how you spell four. Look, I see four pairs. One, two, three, four. A pear is a fruit whose skin can be yellow, green, or even brown. They grow in trees and are very sweet. Hmm, I wonder which one is a pear? No, not this red one. Hmm. Aha! Look at this one. This one's the pear. Let's cut it to check and see if it's ripe and ready to eat. Oh, look. It's the number four. Off to the puzzle you go. So far we have zero, one, two, three, and four. What comes next? It's the number five. Let's spell five. F I V E. I see peas in this spot. Do you know what peas are? They are round green seeds that grow in a long thin shell called pods. And they are full of vitamins. We have one, two, three, four, five pea pods. Let's see if Farmer John has any peas. Oh, look here. This is a pea pod. Let's open it up. I'll take the shell off and see what's inside. Oh look, I see some peas. And puzzle piece number five. Farmer John is hiding all of our puzzle pieces. Let's get you back to the puzzle. The next number is the number six. Let's spell it. S I X. There are one, two, three, four, five, six oranges on this spot. An orange is a round citrus fruit that grows in places that get lots of sunshine. So, which one looks like an orange? No. Mm, no. Mm. Aha! This is the one. This is our orange. Hmm, you know what I feel like? I feel like some orange juice. But first, I need to cut up the orange. What is this? It's the number six. Let's put it back on the puzzle. This is the next missing number from our puzzle. It is the number seven. It's spelled 
S E V E N. I see a bunch of strawberries on this spot. Strawberries are soft, juicy red fruit that grow on a plant low to the ground. How many strawberries do we see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think it'll be easy to find the strawberry. Here it is. And it looks so yummy. I'll cut it up and share with my friends. But wait a minute. What is this? It's the number seven. Farmer John tried to trick us again. Let's get this piece back to the puzzle. And it's time to move on to our next number. The number eight. We spell eight. E, I, G, H, T. I see a green fruit on the number eight. In fact, I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight honeydew melons. Honeydew melons can have a white or yellowish skin with a green inside. It's a sweet and refreshing snack. Let's see if there's one in Farmer John's basket. Hmm. Oh, I see it. Let's cut it up and see what's inside. Oh, it's light green inside. Uh, but wait. It's our number eight. Can you help me get it back to the puzzle? Great! Our last number is the number nine. N, I, N, E is how you spell nine. Oh look, there are grapes all over the number nine. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine grapes. Grapes are a fruit that grow in clusters on vines. They can be green, red, or purple. They can be sweet or even taste a little tart. Where are the grapes? No, that's not it. Naha! I found them. I can't wait to try them. But first, let's cut some grapes off. Here is our number nine. We better get this last piece back to the puzzle. Wow, young learners. That was a delicious adventure. You guys were so helpful. I'm glad we could practice our numbers and learn about some fruits and vegetables today. Hello, young learners. This is my friend Dino the Dino. Look at his beautiful yellow skin. 
and I see some colorful spikes on his back. Oh, and I love his playful little tail. Oh, looks like a storm is coming. We need to hide from it. Oh, this wind is very strong. Wow, Dino's spikes are gone. The wind must have blown them away. I'm sorry, Dino. I'll try to help you find your spikes and put them back where they belong. Oh, each spike has its own number. Hmm, let's see. Zero. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, it looks like we're going to be learning numbers zero to nine. Are you ready to go? Yeah! All right. I see a bunch of sand molds in different shapes. Hmm, which one should I choose? How about this one? Do you know what this is? This is a pelican. There are so many sand colors. Hmm, I think we should use the red one for the bill. And the blue one for the body. And how about the yellow one for the tail feathers. Red. Blue. Yellow. Whoa, it's so cute. Pelicans are water birds that have a large pouch that hangs down from their large bills. Wait a minute. What's this underneath the body of our pelican? Wow, this is one of our friend Dino's spikes. It's the red zero. Which shape should I choose next? I'm gonna go with this blue castle. Let's find the right sand. Since it's a big shape, I think we should go with purple or aqua. What do you think? Yeah, that's right. Let's go with the purple. Purple.
The mold is full. Wow, that's a large castle. Castles were built to protect against attackers and show wealth and power. I see something purple. What is that? It's one of Dino's missing spikes. It's the number one. Does it go here? No. Aha! Here's where it goes. Oh look! There's something else hidden in the purple castle. I see something blue. It has the number two on it. I'm sure Dino will be happy to get this back. What shape is calling to us next? How about the flamingo? It's a pretty pink. And of course, the best color for the flamingo is the pink sand. Hmm, and maybe the blue sand for its legs. Pink. Blue. Our flamingo is such a cutie. Flamingos are a mostly pink bird with long legs and they get their pink color from the food they eat. Uh oh, it looks like our flamingo is hiding something. Wow. It's another spike from Dino's back. It has the number three on it. Does it go here? No, that's not right. Ah, oh, how about here in this green spot? Hmm, I love pineapple, so I think we should choose this pineapple as our next shape. Of course, pineapples are yellow, so we should use the yellow sand. Hmm, and for the crown, how about green? Yellow. Green.
Pineapples are delicious fruit that grow in tropical regions like Hawaii. Hmm, I see something that's green, but it's not part of the crown. It's the number four spike from Dino's back. Here's number four. Hmm, I really like the color blue, so let's go with this blue shark. This blue sand will go perfect with the blue shark. Blue. Ooh, this shark is scary. Sharks are large fish that live in salt water. They eat fish and other water animals using their sharp teeth. Looks like our shark tried to eat something yellow. It's the yellow number five from Dino's back. The number five goes right here in the middle. What is this big green shape? It looks like a fort. Hmm, and I'm gonna use the aqua sand. Aqua. Wow, that's what I call a fort. A fort is a strong building used during battles for protection. How about we see if this fort is protecting something? It's protecting this red spike and it has the number six on it. Here's spot number six. Let's see if the fort is protecting anything else. Oh wow, look at this. This is the yellow spike. It belongs to Dino too. Hmm, this spike is yellow number seven. Where does it go? Aha, it says number seven right here. So it must go right here. This shape is a bird, but what kind? It's a parrot. Hmm, let's make this a colorful parrot. Hmm, let's use yellow for the head, red for the body, and blue for the tail feathers. Yellow.
red. Blue. Oh, so pretty. Parrots are colorful birds that can copy human speech. But wait, this doesn't look like a tail feather. I know, it's another of Dino Spikes. And it has the number eight on it. Let's get it back to him. We have one shape left, and it looks very familiar. Oh, it's a dinosaur just like Dino. What color should we make our dinosaur? Hmm, how about red? Yeah, that would make a great color. Red. Wow, did you know dinosaurs were the main animals on Earth 150 million years ago? Wow, that's a long time. Hey, why does our dinosaur have a purple spike? That's Dino's. This is his last spike. This is spike number nine, and it goes right here. Great job, young learners. We got all of Dino's spikes back where they belong. Let's count them. Zero. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Dino looks so happy to have them all back. Thanks for joining me and Dino on our fun and learning adventure today. What do we have here? It's our mini ocean and look at all that sea life swimming around do you think we could use this fishing rod to catch something yeah! 
Okay. Then we can use the Play-Doh and the shape cutters to make our own sea animals. Are you ready? Let's go. What is this? Oh, it's called a seahorse. It's not really a horse though, it's a fish. But if you look close, you'll see that its head looks like a tiny horse. Did you know that seahorses are very poor swimmers? That's why you usually find them with their tails wrapped around something stable. Now let's see if we can make our own seahorse with Play-Doh. But what color should we use? Hmm, how about yellow? Yeah, that would make a great choice. First, I have to flatten the Play-Doh. Next, we apply the shape. Push firmly. Let's remove the excess Play-Doh. And see what we have. Hooray! We have our own Play-Doh seahorse. Hmm, I think we need to decorate it. Let's put this eye on it. And this pink belly. Now that's a seahorse. I really like our seahorse, but let's put it out of the way and see what else we can catch. Whoa, it's a little windy out on the ocean today, but I'm sure we'll catch something. Oh wow, I see a dolphin. Did you know that dolphins look like fish, but they're actually mammals? They are very smart animals, but they do like to play and have fun. Let's make a dolphin out of Play-Doh. I think hmm, purple would be a cool color for dolphins. Let's flatten the Play-Doh with our rolling pin. Now it's time to apply the shape. Push firmly. We don't need this excess Play-Doh. What do we have here? Huh. We have a dolphin, but something's missing. We should add an eye. and a red mouth.
And of course, a white tummy. Now that's an adorable dolphin. I'm so curious about what animal we'll catch next. Oh wow, we caught a crab. A cute red crab. Do you know what a crab is? It's a sea animal with a flat body, eight legs and claws. And they walk sideways. Hmm, of course we'll pick the red Play-Doh for our crab. Let's flatten it down. Then we'll use the crab shape to make the perfect Play-Doh crab. Let's make the claws orange. This one too. Don't forget about the eyes. One eye. Two eyes. Wow. Now you're ready, Mr. Crab. Let's add him to our Play-Doh animal collection. All right, what else will we reel in? Oh no, it's starting to rain. But that's okay. It can't keep a real fisherman away. Oh look, we have a starfish. A starfish is an animal with five arms that make it look like a star. There are species of starfish living in all of the Earth's oceans. Hmm, for our starfish, we should use the color pink. As always, we have to flatten out our Play-Doh with a rolling pin. Flatten her out good. And now, we have to apply our starfish shape Push, make sure it's in good, and add our starfish. This extra Play-Doh is not necessary. Let's get rid of it. Let's see what we have. And... We have a starfish. Let's put on his eyes. One. Two. And now to decorate his arms. Wow, he has a lot of arms. He has five. Looks like he's ready. 
Come on, dear starfish. Time to shine next to all the other sea animals. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. What is this? Wow, it's a sea turtle. Sea turtles are one of the largest animals in the reptile family. They don't have teeth, and fossils show that they've been around for almost 150 million years. Let's make it green. We have to flatten out our dough so we can use our turtle shape. Flatten, you gotta press firm and flatten it out. Okay, push the shape down firmly. Add in the middle. Remove the extra Play-Doh. And then we have a sea turtle. We should decorate its shell with some colorful dots, like this one. And maybe here? I like it right here too. And maybe one more, right there. And of course, we have to add an eye now we're done. Bye-bye, Mr. Sea Turtle. Okay, back to our mini ocean to catch something else. Hmm, I wonder what it'll be. Oh, I got something. It's a whale. Did you know that whales are very large sea animals and they are not fish, but actually mammals. This means they breathe the air and produce milk for their babies. What color should we use for our whale? Hmm, how about the teal Play-Doh? Yeah, that'll work. We have to flatten out the Play-Doh before we can make our shape. So we have to roll it. Now we can apply our well shape. Push it down. Add in the middle. Give it a firm push as well. Let's get rid of this excess Play-Doh. That's just not needed. And what's underneath here? Look at that. We have a gorgeous teal whale. Hmm, but let's add some color. Hmm, we'll add some orange for his tummy. We'll add some blue for the water coming out of his blowhole. Yes, that looks good. And I almost forgot about an eye. Now that's a pretty well. Let's add him to the other sea animals. I still see a lot of fish in our mini ocean. Hmm, what are we gonna catch next? Oh, wait, I see something scary on the end of my fishing rod. Wow, it's a shark. A shark is a large fish with very sharp teeth. They love to eat other fish and sea animals. 
Did you know their teeth never get cavities? Cool. Now, let's pick a color for our shark. Hmm, I'll pick blue. Oh, let's use the rolling pin. Ooh, come on. Now, let's push the shape down. Make sure to push firm so it goes all the way through the Play-Doh. And then we can add the center section. Let's get rid of this extra blue Play-Doh. And now we have a, what do we have? We have a blue shark. Hmm, but we still need to decorate it. I'll start with the tail. Next, I'll add some white to his fin. And let's don't forget about his eye. Ooh, that red makes him look very creepy. Let's add you to our sea animal collection. Oh, I caught something really pretty. It's a clownfish. But don't worry, it's not Nemo. Clownfish are bright orange fish with white stripes. They usually live in coral reefs like the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. So we already know what color we're going to choose for our clownfish. Orange! And the Play-Doh. We have to use our rolling pin every time to flatten it. Now, we can use our fish shape to make our orange clownfish. Just make sure we press it in firmly. And now we get rid of this orange Play-Doh that we don't need. And now, it's time to reveal what we have. We have our clownfish. But a clownfish needs his white stripes. One. Two. Three. Now, let's add his eye so he looks like a real clownfish. Wow! Is that Nemo? Let's put him with the rest of our Play-Doh creatures. Great job, young learners. I hope you had a good time on this fun and learning sea adventure for more videos, please like and subscribe. Until next time, keep learning and exploring. Bye-bye!